Hi everyone. My name is Mel. Uh, I am 24 years of age. I work at City Girls High School in the canteen, library, and uniform shop. I love my job. I love earning my own money. I buy TV week every Monday. I watch Dancing with the Stars, Master Chef, Neighbours, and Australia's Got Talent. <laughs> Love to open my own restaurant. I love cooking. Everyone says I am a pocket rocket. <laughs> I am a Special Olympics athlete. I am also a member of the Athletes Leadership Program. I love people. I love a chat. I love a gossip. <laughs> <laughs> I love laughing. I love life, and most of all, I am passionate about sport. Special Olympics allows all people living with an intellectual disability to play sport on a weekly basis. We train, play sport, make friends, and have healthy and happy lives. Special Olympics is not about being the best. It is about participating and reaching your personal best. Living with an intellectual disability, well, sometimes life can be tough, but thanks to Special Olympics, we love life, we love sport, we love laughing, we love being successful. Special Olympics allows me to be healthy, to have friends, to be fit, to enjoy life, and to achieve. Every week, I enjoy my sports. I dance, play softball, play camping bowling, I train for ocean swims. I have just started taking tennis lessons. Watch out. <laughs> Twelve months ago, on Easter Sunday, I swam my fifth walk to walk 1.5 kilometer ocean swim at Elizabeth Beach Foster. When the surf is rough, the swim is tough. Guess what? Everyone waited for me to finish and cheat as I ran up the beach. I've after five years, I finally broke my one-hour barrier. <laughs> 58 minutes and 36 seconds. <laughs> I was so proud, I was also buggered. <laughs> My team sport is softball. I am very proud to let you know that in July 2011, I represented Australia in softball at the Special Olympics World Summer Games in Athens. <laughs> Australian athletes won over 150 medals. 50 athletes did their personal best. It was fantastic. <laughs> I walked into a stadium as a member of the Australian team along with 7,500 athletes from 175 nations around the world. Stevie Wonder and Vanessa Williams saying that's what wins are for. Then the games began. We won a bronze medal. <laughs> we were also proud. 
We also had a fantastic coach. It was my mom. I now have friends from my team from all around Australia. I am very proud to be an ambassador for Australia Day each year. Along with my dance team, I have given Australia Day speeches. I love Australia. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie! Oi, oi, oi! We try to make a difference wherever we go. All of us love life. We are also positive. I am a member of the Special Olympics Dance Performance Group. <laughs> Since 2006, we have raised close to $1 million. <laughs> We are now semi-professional with over 40 performances each year. I am also an ambassador for International Day of Disability, held on December 3rd each year. Part of my role is to teach school children to dance. I would like you to sign this theme, Don't Diss My Ability. I will do it very slowly and then ask you to join with me. Don't diss my ability. All together now. Don't diss my ability. Well done. <laughs> now you can see we are building your participation. Would you please repeat after me the Special Olympics athletes' eyes? Let me win. But if I cannot win, let me be brave in the attempt. Let me pray for <laughs> Let me win. Let me win. But if I cannot win, let me be brave in the attempt. Let me be Congratulations. <laughs> I would like to let you know that Special Olympics Australia will be hosting the International Special Olympics Asia Pacific Games in Newcastle in December this year. The chair of the voluntary organising committee is my mate and mentor JT. The reason JT took on the role as chair of the Asia Pacific Games is because of the fantastic experience he had in Athens supporting me and my teammates win a bronze medal. I would like JT to join me on stage to say a few words to you. Thank you for listening to me today. I appreciate it. Thank Thank you, Mel.